Whoa, Kyle, what's going on? You're looking a little different. Yeah, I'm looking like this right now, so we can talk about hyperspectral and multispectral imaging. Ah, uh, makes sense. Yeah, hyperspectral and multispectral imaging are imaging techniques used to capture wavelength information, um, both in the visible and non-visible spectrums. Yes, and both of these techniques are used for applications like agriculture, food and pharmaceutical inspection, and healthcare. Standard mach- oh, excuse me. <clears throat> Ooh, okay, back to normal. Sorry, standard machine vision camera sensors are really only sensitive to wavelengths in the visible spectrum and then slightly out into the near infrared. Mm -hmm. um, and some animals have adapted to seeing these wavelengths. Uh, animals like birds, bees, butterflies, and even some mammals. Specialty machine vision camera sensors uh, for these extended wavelength ranges have to be manufactured because um, light in these wavelength ranges uh, behaves a little bit differently. It scatters, uh, transmits, and reflects a little bit differently than visible light. Definitely. And these different interactions let people get extra information out of hyperspectral and multispectral imaging. And this extra information allows people to tell the health of crops, the quality and composition of food and pharmaceuticals, and even diagnosing and treating certain healthcare conditions non-invasively. So the difference between hyperspectral and multispectral imaging really only comes down to wavelength resolution. Yes, and hyperspectral imaging has a smaller wavelength resolution, so such small chunks of wavelength that you're essentially looking at a continuous change across the different wavelength spectra. Yeah, whereas multispectral imaging really only looks at specific wavelength ranges and it rejects others. Mm -hmm. And both of these two techniques have their own pros and cons. So hyperspectral imaging, you have that more uh, high resolution when it comes to wavelength, and so for techniques that require that, the subtle differences across wavelengths, that's beneficial. But a lot of techniques don't need that level of resolution. A lot of multispectral techniques just need visible and then certain chunks of infrared or other spectra. And it takes more data and processing power to go through the extra information coming in from hyperspectral compared to multispectral. Some limitations with these technologies have led to slow industry adoption. Um, some of these uh, limitations include size, weight, um, and affordability. But uh, integrators and manufacturers are working hand in hand to make. <laughs> that was my hand in hand, in case that wasn't clear. Yeah, yeah they're working together to make these systems more affordable, um, compact, and more user friendly. Um, so hopefully, we'll see you know more industry adoption. Definitely. And that's all we have for today. Thank you so much for joining, and we'll catch you again next time. See you.